All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are on day two of 100 of uh, playing around with Autodesk Fusion. So the things I'm going to talk about today are tapered extrusion and cross sections. Um, so what I'm going to do here is go ahead and you should just see uh, up on my screen now a uh, tapered extrusion with a cross section. So this is the kind of part that we're going to build eventually. One thing I want to talk about is up here on the top right, you notice that my uh, tabs look a little bit different than they usually do on a different program. And so I'm going to click New Design. This allows me to have two different designs up, um, and hopefully, maybe later on down the road when we do assemblies or things like that, uh, having multiple parts up available will be useful. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and very quickly, like I did in the last video, I'm just going to go ahead and make a circle of 70 millimeters and we're going to click finish sketch. Now I'm going to rotate this around by you holding down the shift and the mouse wheel. It allows me to rotate pretty easily. I'm going to go ahead and extrude this. Now we did some extrusions earlier just typing in over here on the, the, the ribbon on the right, um, but we can also just drag in with this area arrow. I'm going to kind of based on whatever product I'm doing use one or the other. You might have noticed that there's an interesting circle right here, uh, and what does this allow me to do? This allows you to very easily taper your extrusion. You can taper it outwards, or you can taper it inwards. So I'm going to go ahead and taper it inwards to 45 degrees. Now I want to do is hollow out the inside of that piece. So I'm going to uh, now I need to make a new design. So I'm going to click extrude and this allows me to cut out this piece as well. So I'm going to extrude, cut upwards. Oh, sorry, I need to do new sketch first. Uh, there we go, make a circle just a hair bit smaller, and this allows me to, when I cut inward, still leave a little bit of a thickness there. So I'm going to extrude that inside, and here we go. Now if you notice, um, Fusion automatically knows this is going to be a cut, or assumes this is a cut, because I have one sketch going into another. You could change this over here to make it a join. You could do an intersect, which is, for certain reasons, you might need that. Um, but we are going to keep this as a cut, and I'm going to rotate take this back to 45 degrees. You notice on the inside, it shows a little bit of a um, preview of what this cut is going to look like. And so this is what I want to look like. It's looking totally okay. Um, if for some reason you want there to be some thickness still left, you can drag this extrusion down. And there we go. Now, I can rotate my piece around holding the shift in the mouse wheel and allows me to see what's going on here. Um, but what I want to do is how do I another way of looking at to make sure the inside of my piece is the way I want it to be? And we're going to look at that by using cross sections. So how did I get there? Under this inspect tab, you'll notice there's a drop down menu. Section analysis. And then I'm going to click on whichever working plane I want to use. So I'm going to click on one that allows me to cut right down the middle. And the same way that we can drag our extrusions with the, the arrow, we can preview our cross sections. Notice that there are also two other wheels that show up. This allows me to rotate my cross section around different axes. And so if I want to do a, a cross section at an angle per se, rather than just flat across, and then I can rotate this quite easily. Now I do like this feature because it looks pretty interesting um, and allows us to see cross sections, I would say, maybe a little bit easier than you would in Inventor. Alrighty guys, uh, good luck. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll see you on the next video.